All right, so we decided what better way to celebrate New Year than to get four bottles of some super special bourbon that we have because bourbon is one, meant to be enjoyed, and two, is always better when you are with friends and family. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yep. <laughs> so welcome to the special episode of E equals MC Bourbon. We are missing, unfortunately, one of our good uh co-hosts i guess would it be yeah i mean i'm missing brian 45 percent you're 45 percent part of your trinity what is that 10 percent? <laughs> i wouldn't quite go trinity <laughs> he's he's that special leg of the tripod uh brian um and of course his wife rachel who keeps him in line uh unfortunately couldn't make it all the craziness of covid all that craziness uh but we are going to do this anyway, and we're not going to drink all of it. And then next year for 2021, we will still be doing this. Bring and back. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get them here, or we will take the bourbon to them. So what we're going to do is we are going to blind flight. We have no idea what order uh, the bourbon is in. All of our... Uh, ones are in the same order so my number one is the same as heather's number the one is the same as chuck's number one but we have no idea what number one is up here and we're going to see which one of these 15 year old products is the best so the 15s we have is barrel 15 old fits 15 from the decanter series a pappy 15 and then the ringer the wild card the wild card is the pursuit series uh 15 year old which is which episode episode 32 so episode 32 if you have not had a pursuit series i highly recommend it uh it it deserves to be in this lineup i will Absolutely. say that yep. it made my top three whiskeys of the year yeah so we are gonna blind these out see which ones we decide is the best and see i mean the big question back there is does pappy live up to the hype this is nice. Mm -hmm. really Number nice one is nose. really good. I get some bacon spice, caramel. Yeah, caramel and brown sugar for me on the on the nose, pretty mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Got a good palate See, that, and a spicy finish. As I say, I get more of the mm -hmm. spice in the in the palate and the finish on this one. Yeah, really nice all the way through. Really, like that's. Mm -hmm. I think that's the barrel 15. Now, I will be <laughs> impressed if you can find a bad bourbon in this lineup. <laughs> Does not exist, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the point? You picked all good ones. Yep. That's the pursuit. Ooh. Ooh. That nose is wonderful. The nose is great. Yeah. The palate is just as good as number one, but there's not I that. Definitely baking. I mean, I get some oatmeal on this. Yeah. You know? See, I get the, like, combine those to me, and that's what I get. It's like a baked like oatmeal buttery. cookie. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. the, but you don't get all the spices that you get, number one, on the finish. On number two, it's just a smooth, mm, some sweet brown caramel, sugar. brown sugar finish. Mm. Yeah. It is. You're right. It, less spice. Yeah. Definitely less spice. They're, they're very similar, but just less spice. It is. You can just keep drinking mm. this. So good. Mm. I like the nose on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get some oak. Oak, toasted vanilla. Mm. Yeah, toasted. One of the weeded products. So we have two, you know, the, the Pappy and the Old Fitz are both weeded um, bourbons compared to the Pursuit. And the Which are, Earl. yeah, they're rye bourbons. Yeah, that's good. It could be the, old. the nose on number four is really good, too. Yeah. yeah. I just mm. get caramel. Yeah, it's number four is really good. Mm -hmm. I like the nose, but I think the palate and the yeah, finish on number three mm -hmm. is a little better. Yeah. I think that's the Pappy 15, to be truthful. What? Which one? The last one. The last. Mm. See, I was thinking three was the Pappy 15. Oh. Well, if that's true, that's why I like that a little better. I haven't sampled enough of these to even pick out anything hmm. you describe me as the impartial vote here right mm-hmm 
you guys have tasted all these relatively it's been, recently. It's no, it's been a long time since I've had the Pappy Fifteen. Oh, a year? Summer. Yeah. No. <laughs> a year? Oh, yeah, the summer. Yeah. When we oh, like, picked oh. up my old Fit 16. When, yeah, so Chuck mm -hmm. got an old Fit 16, which if you've watched our uh, best of video, which I'll link above, uh, he had that as one of your top six yep. for the year. Uh, number five. And when he picked that up, I mean, we did we did the hard job. Uh, I pulled out the Pappy 15, the old Fit 15, and his old Fit 16. We blinded him. And honestly, the old Fit 16 was first, the 15 was second, and the Pappy yeah. was third. Third, yep. yeah. Blind. Hmm. All right, going back through. One is really good. <laughs> They're all going to be good. I can't believe you're going to force me to pick something. Got to pick, got to pick. Yep. I've got a clear winner. Start to finish for me. I'm actually, yeah, between two and three. I think I have a clear fourth. Mm -hmm. Two and three is, it's one of the weeds, which I, I don't say I'm, I was thinking it was the old fits, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> this nose is really nice. It's, uh, it's, it's our number three here. I yeah. I mean, yeah, that number three is really, really good. I honestly have no idea. Like, I thought I would know going in, like, what these things were, and I have no idea. I mean, I definitely have the Weededs picked out. Weededs were three and four. The other, the... Yeah, but I can't pick which Weeded. So. But I have my order. I am good there. I think I'm... I know, it's tough choices. Can you have ties? <laughs> nope. No like, ties. I have this a top. This is soccer. I have yeah. a top, and then the rest are... Yeah, so so when I'm down here filming for Eagles MC Bourbon, and you're uh, like, you're not doing real work. Now you understand we're doing real work. Okay. We're trying to tough figure choices. Out, yes. Really tough decisions here, that have to be made. Yep. Somebody's got to make them. Yep. So the so let's reorder so, these bottles. Right. So let's... what we're gonna do is we're gonna reorder the bottles in the order that we tasted them, not the order that we ranked them. Okay. Yeah, so, so the first glass so we have is four. four. Which bottle was number four? Oh. Drum roll. Two. Four. Okay. Interesting. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, three. Yeah, three. That's the pursuit. Mm hmm Number three is actually number one. One and then two. Which should be... The barrel. The barrel. Wow. And then the old fits. Okay, so here's how we tasted them. So that okay. was yep, that was one, two, three, four. How we tasted. Wow. Okay. So I guess uh, so. I'll go first. So my number one was barrel. My <laughs> number two wow. was pursuit. Inter okay. My number three was old fits, and my number four was pappy. Pappy came in last. Place pappy for you. came in last place, and I would like to say. The number three and number four, which you said yourself were the weeders, were the weeders. was the barrel. One of them was the One barrel. of them was the barrel, yeah. and the other was a weeder, which was, was the, the old fits. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's so I was wrong on one of them. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, no, like this, the barrel. I thought number one was the barrel. To be honest, that ended up being the pack. Yeah. So how about you, Heather? Well, it makes sense now, um, yeah, yeah, thinking about that, yeah. the bottom two, when I was saying, like, oh, like, I'm trying to decide between the bottom two. Like, they are really similar. And you guys keep talking about, like, we did. Okay, like, they're they're very, very similar. So that was really tough. Um, like, I'm sad that I put Pappy as my fourth choice. <laughs> I don't want to say that it's last. I mean, that's. I mean, it's so it's, good. Th these are the it's, upper echelon. We have 115 yeah, bottles behind us. These are four of the best. So to give it a label of this was the bottom, like that's that doesn't seem fair, but um, it's true. It, it it did come behind the other three yeah. that are here. Yeah, fourth, fourth. It's last. Um, and then the old fits. Oh, the nose is really nice. Okay, and then my uh, second was then the barrel. Which is very nice. And then the top is the Pursuit series, which just has so much going on. Mm -hmm. Like, it just has 
everything. It has the nose and everything on the palette and the finish. And there's it's just really complex. This one is really, really nice. Yeah, it is. So I don't know if we've made the plug yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. We also have a channel that is called Cocktail or Needs. <laughs> Um, and I sample different bourbons that you see behind us in our collection, and I get to decide if it goes in a cocktail or if it should be drank neat. And I would like, for the record, um, <laughs> all these, I would drink neat. So you all can relax. I would not put any of these in a cocktail. They're all delicious. Um, so yes, I'm going to continue to drink this Pursuit Series neat. This is really, really good. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here and smell, and Charlie can talk, yeah. and I'll just sniff and That's taste. That's the Dark Horse. And... That's the Dark Horse, the Pursuit series. That came number one oh. for me as well. Mm -hmm. um, TJ, you put this in. You blinded my top four bourbons of, of my 2020. Right. And this came in as number one for you. Yes. Um, this this uh, bo this single barrel was about $150, I think, from Sealbox. Unfortunately, sold out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd be buying three more bottles probably. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's my only regret of 2020. They do have. So if you are not a Patreon of Bourbon Pursuit, we recommend it because that's how you get first dibs at the Pursuit yeah. series. Mm -hmm. They do have, and they said, the same place this came from, they still have one barrel that they're sitting in their warehouse aging. Ooh. So it's like 16, <laughs> years. 16 years now. So yeah, who knows yeah. when they'll release it. So a plug out to you, uh, Bourbon, Bourbon Pursuit. Pursuit. You do some great stuff where we, we enjoy. I've got three back there behind Chuck. Uh, he's got more at his house. Okay, you three. can't go wrong with your guys' yeah. stuff. I and mean, this was wonderful to me. And it's like, like I said, it just reminded me of sitting in the kitchen, like just mm -hmm. the smell of a fresh baked cookie coming out of the oven. Um, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, barrel, the barrel 25 or barrel 15, sorry, uh, was number two for me. Um, close, a close second, but just didn't hang with the pursuit. And then actually the, the Pappy came in as number three for me. I, oh. I liked the, it, it was a close actually for a while. I had this as number two, three with the, mm -hmm. with the barrel. Um, the nose is, is it's nice. I, I like that it oak is. that yeah. comes through, the oak and the cherry note that you kind of is pretty typical of Buffalo Trace. Um, and then the, I mean, certainly a close fourth was the old fit. So it's, a, again, not a bad, bad fourth, but <laughs> there's no wrong choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fun. This is why you blind things. Yes. Because no, <laughs> no one would put Pursuit Series as, as number one in this lineup um, right. by name alone. So. And it, it, it hung in just fine. Like, even for me, it was number two. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a it's a great product. Ryan and Kenny, you guys have great palettes, and you, you pick some amazing stuff. Uh, so, once again, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, in the comments below, have you had any of these? Uh, if you did, what do you think? Have you, have you tried them, everything like that? Uh, let us know. Is there something that we need to go out and try to find and let you know? Uh, what we think. Uh, hit us up, let us know, everything like that. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Stay neat.